All right, shalom, shalom. <clears throat> First, I'd like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honest to my apostles, I heard it's a great millstone who woo well and taught me this truth. And shalom to all the brothers out there through the four corners of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity, shalom. But the Kazapa from GMS Riley, North Carolina, come back with you another quick lesson to the Spirit Power Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And um, this lesson is going to be entitled. Um, Civil unrest is soon to come. All right, sedition among men. Okay, you know, because as we see out in the world, you know, our our Lord Yahweh Shai gave us, um, you know, clues and um, <laughs> or signs, you know, to to show uh the 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 times that we're in, man. Okay, you know, one of those things is rumors of wars. You know, uh, you know, uh. People are turning against the government, all right, race riots, all these things our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, told us, man, that would happen um, before his return, okay, you know, and that's just what you really see, man, as you see on the screen, protests, heavy, which has been in the last, uh, last two, three years going heavy on these protests, you know, first is Black Lives Matter, then it was, you know, uh, a protest against Trump, you know, and then, um, you know, also, you know, just protests against uh, uh, and over there in France right now, you know, uh, with the yellow, the yellow uh, jackets and stuff like that. You know, the yellow vests and stuff, you know, all over the earth, man, you know, uh, um, uh, protests in China. All right. All these things, man, you know, but the Lord Yahweh Shai told us these things are going to happen. All right. So let's get straight into the scriptures. All right. It says. This is uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Kind, because we hear wars and rumors of wars through the um, um, internet, you know, you know, through the TV, you know, on the news stations, on these news articles and these different um, news apps that brothers go into. All right. You know, we're hearing wars and rumors of wars. All right. Uh, war being stirred up in the Middle East. Okay. You know, war being, um, um, you know, uh, uh, being uh, war games going on throughout the four corners of the earth with these big um, top uh, superpower countries, man. Okay, Russia, China, America. You know the the EU. You know um, all these things. Our Lord Yahweh Shai told us were, were going to happen, man. Okay, it says, see see that ye be not troubled, kind. See that you not be troubled, man, because these things have to come. So don't be in a worried mind frame like these people out here in the world, because people out here in the world don't really know what's going on. Okay, you know. But we, as the men of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, has uh, granted, uh, granted us access and, uh, and understanding to what's going on in the world right now. Okay? All right? It says, For all these things must come to pass, but the end is, is not yet kind. Because all these things had to come past before our Lord, Yahweh Shai, shows up on the scene. Okay? You know? All these things. The wars, rumors, wars, the, the race riots, all these things. You know, have to happen. You know, World War Three. You know, the mark of the beast being um, implemented, which is the RFID chip. All these things have to be, um, you know, uh, have to happen before our Lord Yahweh Shai returns. All right, all right. And our Lord, Lord Yahweh Shai, that's his true name, who the world and he calls Jesus Christ. Okay, <clears throat> it says um, uh, Matthew twenty four and seven, and it reads, it says, for nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom, kind nation against nation. All right, you got America. You got America uh, right now against uh, um, you know uh, Russia. You know those those are two kingdoms against kingdoms, but nation against nation. All right, you got uh, the race fights, man. All right, the nation of Israel versus the nation of Edom, the nation of Edom versus the nation of Elam. All right, the nation of um, um, uh, uh, Elam is uh, so called uh, uh, dot head East Indians. Okay. All right, and Edom <clears throat> being a so-called white man, all right, against the uh, 12 tribes of Israel, man, or which is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, all right, you know, uh, just uh, people, different peoples going against different peoples, man, all right, and it says kingdom against kingdom, like I just mentioned, America uh, versus uh, Russia, all right, America versus China, all right, you know, uh, uh, and these different countries just going against uh, each other, man, pitting tariffs and taxes on on goods man all these things man all right because those are former wars too all right economic wars it says um 
and there shall be famines, all right, lack of food, all right, lack of water. Are you seeing that happening in uh, Venezuela right now, you know, in, you know, Venezuela, Argentina, in that area, man, all right, you know, you're seeing heavy uh, 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 famines going on, man, all right, where people are eating rotten meat, okay, people are, are resorting to rotten meat, uh, women are resorting to uh, prostitution to get food, okay, to, to, to fill their stomachs, to feed their children, okay, you know, and not just any women, women, women of high class, okay, you know, lawyers, you know, doctors, all these things, man, all right, these are things that's going on in uh, these other countries, but soon it's going to hit uh, America, man, all right, because Yahweh Shemal Shah is saving the best for last, man, okay, you know, so all these things will come to America, and it'll be heightened at a whole new level that the world has never seen, okay, it says, and there shall be famines and pestilences, kind, diseases, man. All right, that's what a pestilence is, a disease. All right, so how about Shemal Shah is about to um, unleash these diseases out on the people, man. All right, you, you have uh, uh, the CDC, which is in um, Atlanta, uh, uh, Georgia, you know, has all the diseases that uh, are known to mankind, man, and ones that he's creating, man. All right, you know, the Lord's going to put the spirit on Esau just to let him out, man, you know. To let them out through the streets, man, very soon, okay? You know, people going to be dying, just dropping dead. People are uh, bleeding out of every hole possible in their body, okay? Uh, uh, bl uh, uh, tears of blood coming out, you know, crying blood, you know? For a good example to show you is the movie um, um, I Am Legend, man, all right? People are crying, crying blood, you know, the... Uh, 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 riots are happening. The government is turning against the people because there's uh, diseases out here, quarantines, all these things, man. All right. This comes with pestilences and famines, man. All right. It says, and earthquakes, kind. Hey, man, there's an earthquake every day, man. All right. An earthquake is uh, um, noted every day, man. There was recently a, just a small tremor earthquake, about a 4.4 in, uh, uh, in Tennessee that was felt in Atlanta. Okay. You know, little little tremor, you know. Recently, uh, last week, there was a... Uh, um, a earthquake that hit uh, Alaska, man. It was, you know, it was a, a seven. Um, it was like a seven point one earthquake, man. All right, you know, very, very high earthquakes, man. So the Lord is telling us that it's gonna be, um that these things will happen. It says in earthquakes in diverse places. So it's gonna be all these things are gonna be happening in diverse places, man. All over the place, man. All right, different places, not just in one concentrated area, man. All right. You know, and people are starving throughout the four corners of the earth. All right. Diseases are going out. All right. So-called white man, Esau, Edom, according to the Bible, is pushing out these diseases, man. Okay. You know, pushing out these uh, uh, these pharmaceutical drugs that people are getting hooked on. Okay. You know, pushing all that, man. All right. And earthquakes in diverse places, man. You know, well, a reason why earthquakes are happening at an all-time high is because Esau, Edom is taking the oil. All right. Which is like the... Uh, uh, the, the fluid for the, the, the tectonic plates, he's take, he's uh, taking out the oil of the earth at a all-time rate. So when uh, these plates move, all right, they uh, rub up against each other very hard, man, all right, and um, and cause these earthquakes, man. So it's all, how about Shema Shai is making this devil do certain things for um, the earth to react a certain way. He got, uh, uh, um, Slaki, I can. You got uh, fish be beaching themselves, you know, whales beaching themselves, you know, birds dropping out the sky. All these things were gonna happen, man, before our Lord Yahweh Shah came back, okay? It says, Matthew 24 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows, kind, and this is only just the beginning, man, all right? It's about to get, it's about to turn up real soon, Akim, you know, it's about to turn up real soon, as the scriptures say, um, in um, uh, Daniel, um, <clears throat> Chapter 12, verse 1. This is going to be a time of Jacob's trouble, all right? As never seen upon the face of the earth, man. All right, so what the Lord is about to do to this place, America, all right? And to the people all over throughout the four corners of the earth is about to be never seen in history, man, all right? It's going to be worse than we've ever seen ever in the in the course of history, man, okay? And these, like I said, these are just the beginning of sorrows, man, okay? Um... This is a uh, second answer chapter 15 verse 14 and it reads woe to the world and them that dwell therein woe all right it means death and destruction okay death and destruction to the world and them that dwell therein man all right you know so lord is telling these people man hey 
death and destruction is coming to you. And if you if you're in the midst of it, hey, you go get caught out there, man. OK, it says for the sword and the destruction draw of not kind. The sword, which is any any killing instrument and destruction is coming towards these people, man. It's drawing nigh. It's coming closer. Are you how about you know, is bringing this destruction that much closer every day, man? The Lord is judging somebody every day, man. You know, so we ought to get right with you. How about Shema Shai? I said this to myself first, you know, and then to brothers, you know, we, we got to get right with you. How about Shema Shai that we may be, be protected, all right, found worthy to escape all these things as the scriptures say, man. Okay, it says, and one people shall stand up and fight against another kind of race rights, man. All right. And like I say, you see it in these uh, these protests, man, as you see in the screen, man, you know, these protests uh, against the government, you know, one people stand up against another race, riots, all these things, man, you know, all over to the four corners of the earth, man, are happening right now, man. OK, it says <clears throat> it says and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right. Kind holding um, instruments of death in their hands, man. OK. It says, verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men. All right. What sedition means, you know, basically uh, uprising against the government, you know, you know, uh, uprising against authority, man. All right. And that's what you see out here. You see it in France with these yellow vests, you know, rising against the uh, the government. All right. Same thing um, down there in Venezuela, you know, Brazil, even here in America, man. All right. Certain people. Gathering up and going against what the government uh, 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 wants to uh, implement, man. All right. That says sedition among men. It says, and invading one another kind, invading homes, man. You know, hey, man, it's going to come a time where people are just going to start invading, invading people's homes because of, of lack of bread, you know, because they can't eat. So they're going to invade people's homes, do home invasions just to get simple needs and foods, man. All right. Like we just read in the scriptures, there will be famines. All right. When a famine hits and certain people have food and others don't, certain people are going to get robbed, those people, man. All right. It's going to be a dog eat dog world in that day, man. All right. <clears throat> but these are the things to come, man. All right. So civil unrest is, is coming to America, man. All right. It might not seem like it now. Everybody's shopping, doing, having fun right now. Holiday season, da, da, da. You know, but soon, real, real soon, civil unrest is coming to this world, man. All right. And mainly in America, man. All right. Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures, it says they shall not regard their kings nor princes kind. They're not going to regard any higher authority, man. All right. Whatsoever. OK, they're not going to uh, uh, care about what your police officers say, what your governor say. All right. What your, uh, what your mayor say. OK, what your president says, man. All right. They're not going to regard that, man. They're going to do what they want to do in that day, man. All right. And, you know, it says, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Kind or right, whatever a man feels like he wants to do. All right. He's going to be able to do it in that day. And no one is going to be able to stop him, man. OK. All right. How about Shema Shah is going to put it in these people's minds to riot, uh, uh, to, uh, you know, basically uh, be beasts out here, man. All right. You know, <clears throat> Just be uh, all rowdy and, and 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 destructive out here, man. All right, and that's the will of the heavenly Father to bring this stuff to America, man. All right, let's see if I can get the scripture really fast. Um, let's see. Um, this is the book of Isaiah. Yeah, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 13, verse 14. And it shall be as the chased roe. Talk about these people, man. All right. And a chased roe, you know, uh, is, a, is a scared uh, deer, man. All right. These people will be running out here like scared deers. And when a deer hears just a, a crackle of a, a stick, when somebody steps on it, it jets off, man. All right. This is, that's how these people are going to be on that day, man. Are right, they going to be like that in, de- in that day, man, the um, time of Jacob's trouble? It says, and as a sheep that no man taketh up, they shall they shall every man turn to his own people. So there's not going to be no inger- intermingling anymore, you know? <laughs> and if you do, you're going to end up like that dude off of the Get Out movie, man. All right? You know? That's what's going to happen to you, man. All right? But everybody's going to turn to their own people, man. Edomites for Edomites. Israelites for Israelites. You know? Uh, uh, Elamites with Elamites, uh, ham with ham. It's gonna be everybody turning to their own people and gonna be further only for their own people, man. And that day, all right, it says, 
and flee everyone to his land. Kind. Because it's going to go get so bad here in America that people, uh, <laughs> you know, if they get out in time, they're going to go back to their homeland, man. It's because it's going to be straight hell here in America, man. All right. It says, everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Kind. Because everyone, you know, if you joined unto the society, all right, America, you could be thrust through with the sword, man. Okay. You could, you could be put to death, man. All right. Yeah. How about you, my shot? We'll put you to death if your mind frame and your spirit is, is consumed in the American way, man. And in the way of Babylon the Great, it says, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Kind. You're drawn unto the philosophies and the ways of America. You're going to fall by the sword, man. All right. <clears throat> You're going to be put to death, you know. By any way, Yahweh Shema Shai sees fit, man. Whether you be eaten to death, be torn up by wild dogs, get uh, 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 trampled by a bunch of protesters when martial law comes and they start uh, blasting people away, you know. Any way Yahweh Shema Shai sees fit for you to die, he's going to kill you in that way, man. Okay. You know. But these are the things that are coming to America, man. Like I said, uh... Hey, the, uh, the actions shall stand in their own power. A man's going to do what he wants to do in that day. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 10. The children shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Kind of, this could be that horrible out here that people are going to start killing people's children, man. All right. Not having no mercy upon anybody, man. Okay. It says, and their houses shall be, shall be spoiled. Kind, you know, spoiled, took them for what they would call booty, which booty means spoil. Okay. You know? Taking their goods, taking their food, taking whatever they want, man. Okay. It says, and their wives ravaged, kind, which ravaged means brutally raped, man. All right. So these are the things that are coming to America, man. All right. At, at all encompass civil unrest, man. All right. You know, everything that all encompass that, man, going on, man. All right. You know, so, you know, just showing you, Akiyam, these are the things that come. And, you know, we see it right now at a very low level. But yeah, how about Shemal Shai is about to turn it up, man. All right. And I'm going to get that last scripture. Um, It's book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. <clears throat> and at that time shall Michael stand up. All right. And Michael is the head archangel under Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble. All right. Jacob's trouble. Okay. All right. It says, such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same, even to that same time, kind. All right, it's going to be a time of trouble, like never seen on, on the face of the earth, man. All right, it's going to be that bad, man, that the worst things that we ever seen in history, the slavery over here in America, uh, 70 AD, all those things are going to be looking like child's play compared to the time that's coming, man. All right, it says, <clears throat> and at that time, thy people shall be delivered everyone that is found written in the book kind that's the elected the nation of israel all right the elected the nation of israel will be saved out of all these troubles man all right lord's will will be a part of that number man all right the elect will be saved and be um taken care of and that day and won't have to worry about anything because they trust in the power of yahweh by shimel shai so you know just showing you akim a civil unrest is coming you know and, uh, hey, man, we have to trust and believe in Yahweh Shema Shai and be obedient to his will, and the Lord will protect us. So with that, I'd like to get all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukar Kadash. Double honest to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who woo well and taught me this truth. And Shalom to all the brothers out there through the four kinds of the earth, pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom.